Hello. It's good to see you today. We are back with another bag of this rhinestone jewelry. I bought this big 13 pound lot of rhinestone jewelry. Some of it is just little broken pieces. A lot of it is fully intact. And uh, we've been going through it a little bit at a time. It came in this big box and it was in different bags. Look at this little square bag. This is so cute. It's a nice little snack bag. Um, and so we're going to open this up and take a look at the pieces in the bag. Now I've done the bag like we do the uh, Goodwill jewelry bags where I just kind of put it off to the side here and then we can just take pieces out and take a look. Whatever this is, it still has a, uh, it still has a price tag on it. It looks like it was $9.99. Little tag and some sort of necklace, but right now it seems to be hung up. I don't want to handle it too, too roughly. I don't want to damage anything. This. this is from Express. There's a little tab on here. My goodness. This is a long necklace. This is really fancy. This necklace has sort of a rose gold color to it and tons and tons of little rhinestones. Okay, that's beautiful. Here's the, the back side. You can see how that looks. It just sort of zigzags all over the place. It's pretty consistent. It looks just the same all the way down. It's a little bent right here. It's a little warped. That's one of the bad things about these pieces all being together in a bag like this. Of course, it might have been that way before they placed it in the bag, but sometimes the pieces get squished a little bit. But you can see down here, you have these two ends and it just intersects right here. They cross right here. And then you have these two pieces hanging down. One is a bit longer than the other, but it's just the same all the way down. And at the end, we have this little diamond shape with four rhinestones. That pattern repeats throughout. It's really pretty really pretty back here. You're going to see that they have a, a medium-sized gold lobster claw clasp. No adjustable chain. I couldn't tell you the last time I was in an express store. Oh my god. Probably 20 years ago. I couldn't even tell you if they're still around. I don't know. I think they are. Was it the limited that went out of business? I don't remember. I don't, I don't really shop in places like that, so I, I don't know. But it's very beautiful. Look at that. Wow. I do love shiny things. I always have. I think I was a crow in my former life. Either that or a largemouth bass. I'm not really sure, but I, I love sparkly stuff. It's just pretty. I do believe this bag is uh, maybe all necklaces. So you start pulling stuff out and everything just kind of all wants to come out at the same time. We have a mighty tangle right here. Ooh, these rhinestones are cool. These are like old school rhinestones in my opinion. These are the kind that have that big setting, like they have these prongs that come up on top of the rhinestone. Now the rhinestones themselves are kind of a purple color. Very, very pretty. The back side is gold. It's kind of like a choker. Oh, it has an interesting clasp. Look at this, it's just like a little shepherd's hook with a little rhinestone on the end of it. And you could just take it and, I guess, do you just, what do you do? You just take it and hook it over, I, I guess? That doesn't look right though. Surely not. I mean, that just looks weird. <laughs> no, well, this end here doesn't look like it's missing anything. Yeah, I don't think it is. That's so, 
that's a strange clasp. I've never seen one quite like it. So you just, I don't know, I guess you just take it and hook it over the necklace. However, that's, I mean, that's, that's weird. I guess. Well, you know, you could put this in the front, have it sort of like this, and then you could have a little bit hanging down like that. I suppose. I don't know. It's very unusual. I've, I've never seen a necklace with a clasp like that. It's very neat. Oh, we have a tangle. No, we don't. <laughs> never mind. This is another... This necklace is about the same length. I mean, it could be kind of like a choker if you wanted it to be. This one has clear rhinestones that are slightly larger than the one we just saw. The back is also the same gold tone. I like this one a little better. I feel like with this one you can really see the sparkle a little bit better. You know, I just I like this one a little bit better. This one has a medium-sized gold lobster claw clasp, about two inches of adjustable chain. I like this clasp better, too. I mean, the other one is kind of interesting, but to actually wear it, I like this one better. This is a pretty necklace. I really like it. It's very shiny. <laughs> it's very sparkly. Look at that. So it's very simple, but it's also very elegant. It's not overly dramatic or anything, but it does bring some sparkle into your world. Look at that. Oh, we're missing a rhinestone right there. That's all right. It doesn't even really show. I think that's the only one. Beautiful. That's nice. Oh, no, this isn't the one with the price tag. This one has done the tango with this necklace, and now they're all entangled. Here we go. This is the focal point of this necklace down here. You see this is a solid piece. It kind of looks like a looks like a tiara in the back. <laughs> oh, it's very shiny. This is just the back side. Look at that. Gorgeous. You have these rhinestones of all different shapes. Oh, but they really catch the light, don't they? Oh my goodness. So the chain on here is just a plain, thin, silver chain. We have a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp. There's a little tab on here. Oh, this is from Claire's. We have about three inches total of adjustable chain. Oh, Claire's getting fancy. I do remember being a kid, like a tween, you know, I was maybe 11 or 12, and going to Claire's at the mall and looking at, sometimes they had um, rhinestone jewelry. It was probably around prom time or something. And I thought, oh, I could look like a, I could look like a rich princess. I could look like those ladies on Dynasty if I had that necklace and those earrings. Ooh, I could be so fancy. <laughs> I think I never got over my obsession with rhinestone jewelry. <laughs> I always wanted some. I never had any. Oh, that would be so cool. I could look so fancy. <laughs> oh, I think playing charity gives me the opportunity to do that as an adult. <laughs> I'm living out some kind of weird dynasty fantasy or something. This all goes, does this, oh goodness, this one all goes together. I want to be able to lay that out and look at it properly. Whoops. What kind of Wait a minute. What kind of conglomeration is this? Oh, it's a pretty cluster, which sounds weird together. Two words you don't normally hear together. Certainly not from a radiologist. This is tangled around another thing. Okay. Here's the back side. It looks like a growth in a petri dish, but it's very shiny. Look at it. It's pretty. Boy, do you see the front? This is the pretty cluster I was talking about. Oh, and at the end we have this multifaceted opalescent rhinestone right here. It's beautiful. 
Now up here, we have similar rhinestones, some of them are smaller, and then we have this sort of a, a light cream-colored enamel in some of these spots instead of a rhinestone. That's an interesting combination because the rhinestones have a bluish tint and then you have the sort of a beige color. They look pretty together. Pretty cluster, see? I would have never thought to combine enamel with these rhinestones. That's really nice. So this is a Y necklace. It has a hinge in it here, 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 here. So that's pretty. And it has a simple thin silver chain. It looks like it has part of its price tag still attached. It has a small round clasp. Oh, this is a necklace extender actually. And attached to it is a medium sized silver lobster claw clasp. We have probably about two and a half inches of adjustable chain added to this necklace with the extender. Make it a little bit longer. Otherwise, you would have to attach the lobster claw clasp right here to this little tiny ring. There would be no adjustment to it. Whoops, I turned it. There we go. That's pretty. That's pretty. You could wear that with just about anything and it would look nice. Very nice. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. This is some sort of what the heck? Okay, this is strange. Look at look at this. Now it's pretty. It's a funky shape though. Look at this sort of an abstract shape. You have these little pieces coming down here and they curl up. We have dingle dangles. Three of them. Then this is a solid piece. But look how short it is. I, I was gonna say it broke. Maybe it broke, but I mean, you would have to have a tiny neck to wear this around your neck. I have to believe this broke at some point. I mean, where? how would you wear this? You could wear it as an anklet, I suppose, but that would be very uncomfortable. What body part is this for? <laughs> Maybe it's for a cat. I don't know. It's very shiny though, look at that, oh. I can certainly respect the sparkle. So we have this medium sized silver lobster claw clasp here and a long chain. And you will hear birds. <laughs> it's, it's early in the morning and the birds are very happy. I hope the birds chirping outside don't bother you. It, they're happy. It's morning. They made it through the night. Sometimes that's that's the most we can hope for and we can celebrate that. So we have these little rhinestones going up here. I don't know. I don't know who or what this is for, but it's very interesting. I've never seen a piece quite like it. It's very cool. Maybe it's to go up on your arm, like further up on your arm somehow. I don't know though, with the shape, I kind of feel like that would be a little uncomfortable. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. I do that a lot. Now here we have a choker. This has a long bit of, oh my word, this has a very long bit of adjustable chain. This choker has beautiful light green rhinestones. Um. It looks like it kind of broke off there a little bit. Maybe there was an additional bit, but there's none over here, so I don't know. But they're very pretty, light green, sparkly rhinestones. They come up this way. They're gonna come around your neck this way. We have a small, a very small silver lobster claw clasp with at least three and a half inches of adjustable chain to it. The color is just beautiful. Look at that pretty color. It's like the color of a Granny Smith apple. That is nice. That's a pretty... You don't see green rhinestones very often. Certainly not exclusively where there are just no other colors. Wow. I like 
like it. Oh, here's another pretty cluster look. This is like the other one. This is the necklace that had the price tag on it. So it's made just like the blue one, but the enamel and the rhinestones are slightly different. Okay, so this one has pink rhinestones. They're clear. The other ones were kind of milky. We are missing one right there. Um, and the enamel is, I almost want to say it's more of a pinkish color. It's kind of hard. It is. It's a slightly different shade. If I look at it next to this one, they are more of a pinkish color. And it comes down. I kind of like the pink one a little bit better. I like the pink with the that sort of a pinkish beige color. It's pretty. And we also have some little tiny clear rhinestones. Very small. Come back here again. You have just this small silver chain and the price tag. Medium sized silver lobster claw clasp and, a, and another extender. So that gives you an extra three inches, three and a half inches or so with the extender. The extender piece has a round clasp. I like this. I mean, I like the blue one, but I kind of like this pink one a little bit better. That is pretty. I like it. I mean, they're both pretty. And here we have a length. There, it looks like the clasp is missing, or maybe this was part of another necklace at some point. This one has clear rhinestones to it. There is a little ring on the end here. On this end, there's a little, a little ring there. And you can see these pretty, pretty um, clear rhinestones with the silver on the back. I wonder if this was part, just part of a necklace, but then it looks like it broke off right here. That was attached to something else at, at some point. really pretty. Oops. Look at that. Some rhinestones definitely sparkle more than others, but I like all of them. Okay, now I can lay this one out. I wanted to make a little room to see what this is. This is a necklace. Okay. These are like the ones I used to see at Claire's when I was a kid. And I wanted one so bad, but they were expensive. This is weird. There's a piece up here for some... Maybe this goes down your back or something. Okay. So what do we have? All the rhinestones are the same size. They're kind of small, but it almost looks like an elephant. I don't know. I was looking at the ears or something. Boop. So it's gonna come out like that. You have these little, you have these little pieces that stick out here, and then down here at the bottom, what do we have? Okay, I'm confused now. Hold on a second. You have this one piece that comes way up for some reason. I'm not sure why it does that. This is one piece. Maybe it was attached, because see up here, you have this piece. I don't know. This one is attached at the back with a medium sized silver lobster claw clasp. And we have another lobster claw clasp right here. And about four inches of adjustable chain back here. I'm starting to think that this stuff was made for like space aliens or something. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Because this piece that goes down the back or something, I don't know if these were attached somehow. I really do not understand this necklace, but dang it, it's shiny, it's sparkly. I don't care. I like it. Lots of sparkles. Hope we have a bracelet. Look at this. Ooh, this one has lots of tiny rhinestones. The bracelet itself is a silver color. And I believe this is our clasp. It is. Even the clasp has two little rhinestones on it. It's a little flip clasp, so it opens up like that. 
You can see the underside is a silver color, but it's not a, like a chrome. It's not a super shiny silver. That's pretty. It's kind of small too. I like that. Hey, let's see if it fits me. It does. My wrists have always been sort of small. It's a genetic thing in my mother's mother's family. All the all the people over there have these little wrists. So that's cute. Look at that. It's a little heavy because this is all metal. But it looks like most of the rhinestones are here. Some of them are missing. But I think it's pretty anyway. I still like it. I think it's really pretty. It's almost like a watch. <laughs> yeah, it's cute, but I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to keep it though. I don't, I don't need any more bracelets. I have too many already. So what I'm going to do with all this jewelry once I'm done looking at it is I'm going to resell it because I got into, first of all, I don't need all this jewelry, and I got into a bidding war with somebody else over this lot of jewelry, and I paid way too much for it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to recoup some of the money I spent on this ridiculous lot of jewelry. Ooh, look at this bracelet. Now this one has links to it, and larger clear rhinestones. Ooh, they are pretty. It's very pretty. It kind of has a hardness to it and a sparkliness. And it has a clasp back here. Let's see here. There's something stamped into it, but I can't quite read it. But you just clip it together like that. It's very pretty. I've never seen a bracelet quite like that. That is cool. This is another necklace, and it's bringing something with it that doesn't uh, go to, together. Now this looks like the ones I would see at Claire's. <laughs> These little, it looks like a little tiara. So this is the bottom part here for the necklace. And then going up you have these little bitty rhinestones, and they're all clear. What, do we have a clasp? We have a strange little clasp. But again, I, I feel like something's missing. I don't know. But you know what? Well, I was going to say this might be the, one of those things where it was attached at some point to an article of clothing. But how would you attach this part? There's nothing here to attach to anything unless there was something on the clothing that you could attach this to. I don't know. It has a little tiny shepherd's hook here that you couldn't hook in here, so I don't quite get it, but yeah, it's little rhinestones, but they are sparkly. We have balls coming out. Look at these four balls in a tassel. That's like a fun Saturday night. Look at that. Wee. <laughs> these are strands of silver chain just hanging down, and they're attached to four balls. I never knew a man with four balls. They are encrusted with rhinestones, and it looks like a period was attached at some point to something. But then, then it isn't attached to anything now. Ooh, I like this. We have a necklace with little black rhinestones. Oh, nice. Look at them. They're all over the place. They're little, and then there are larger ones. And they just kind of zigzag all over. And then you come up this way. And then the chain itself has tiny, tiny black rhinestones going up. And then the chain is black as well. We have this medium-sized lobster claw clasp with about four inches of adjustable chain. And at the end of that adjustable chain is a tiny, tiny rhinestone. Very small. That is pretty. I think we saw a necklace similar to this in one of the other bags. That is nice. There's a lot in this little bag. Now here, 
We have something that, uh, did it break? Oh, I think it did. It, yeah, originally it looks like it was attached. So this would have been down here somewhere. This would have been the focal point of the necklace down here with the dingle dangles and a little bit of rhinestones here and here. But it looks like it broke. And then going up this way, you have the little clear rhinestones. In the back, you have a medium-sized, medium to large-sized silver lobster claw clasp and no adjustable chain at all. Well, that's a shame. I hate that happen. Somebody got in a fight in the parking lot after the prom and she got her necklace broke. Broken. No, if it's a fight in the parking lot, you got your necklace broke. You didn't, you don't, you don't get proper grammar. I remember I witnessed a fight one time when I was a teenager. I saw so many fights in parking lots. Oh, I, hang, I hung out with rough people. Dramatic people. And uh, this girl, I felt bad for her. She had gotten a new swatch watch for her birthday and the other girl snatched it off her arm and stomped it in the parking lot. Oh, that was brutal. Like, that was too far. You can't do that. Her grandma gave her that watch. <laughs> I felt really bad for her. Anyway, here we have these teardrop-shaped, multifaceted pieces. These are plastic, and they are surrounded by little clear rhinestones, and they all kind of point in this way, and then you have one pointing up. Going up, we have two little rows here, and then it goes down to just one row of small, clear rhinestones. Looks like we're missing one there. Going back to the back, we have a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and about four inches of adjustable chain and a little tab. This is from Claire's as well. Fancy, fancy. Ooh, look at that. This is a, ooh, look at this bracelet. Oh my goodness. These are kind of amber colored rhinestones. You have these large teardrop shaped rhinestones and then the smaller ones. Ooh, I saw the back first. I thought it looked like that. That's kind of cool too. Look at these gorgeous rhinestones. Oh my gosh. That's pretty. That is so pretty. And then we have this big clasp, it's this gigantic oversized clip clasp to it. That's gorgeous. Oh my word, that's gorgeous. I love it. That is so pretty. I love the color, I love the design. I love everything about it. I don't know who made it though, there's no name on it, but that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I have found a few pieces from these, from this lot that I'm going to keep. Most of it I'm going to sell though. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at this necklace. I have one very similar to this. I think I bought it at Goodwill. This is a multifaceted bead, a little rhinestone on here. We have this shade of blue, like a lighter blue, and then like a darker blue. And the metal on the back is dark gray. This is how it looks on the back. It's incredibly smooth. These are beautiful. Oh, I love these two shades of blue. This kind of reminds me of a midnight blue, which is my favorite color. It's not navy blue. Navy blue has, has some red in it. Midnight blue is just like blue mixed with black. It's my favorite color. You come back here and you're going to find, what are you going to find? A medium sized lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. I really like that. That is so pretty, but I do have one very similar. So I'm, I'm going to let it go. Otherwise I would keep that. If I didn't already have one that looks very similar, I would keep that. That's pretty. Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. 
Don't take a drink every time I say something is so sparkly because you will die of alcohol poisoning. I should have said that up front. We have this little shape here like a flower with these little round rhinestones and then you have a teardrop shape down here surrounded by small rhinestones. And then going up this way you have some more rhinestones. It's like a Y necklace. That is so pretty. And we have a silver chain coming to the back. We have a small silver lobster claw clasp and about four inches of adjustable chain. Oh my, that's stunning. I love that. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. I love that. You could wear that with anything and it would look good. It does take a lot of discipline to not keep this stuff, but the more you practice letting stuff go, the easier it gets. This is a choker. Oh boy. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Look at this blue butterfly. It has silver doodahs and stuff. Here's the back. Oh, even the back is pretty. Look. I even like the back. It looks like a little fairy if you look at it this way. It's a butterfly. Okay, all right. All right, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's a little choker. I want this. And it has a silver chain to it. I'm not sure what's going on back here. Oh, okay, it's just wrapped together. So we have a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and like all the adjustable chains. So you can, <laughs> that's what all of this is. So you could make this really short, or you could make it a little longer. Oh, it has little green leaves. It's like green metal, and then we have these beautiful blue rhinestones going up this way. Oh, it looks like something a fairy would wear. I want this. It looks like something a woodland nymph would wear. Okay, okay, all right, I'm keeping this one. I am keeping this one. I have never seen a necklace like this. Oh, that's stunning. That is so beautiful. I love the little blue butterfly. Okay, all right. I am keeping, I am keeping that one. That one, I, okay. <laughs> I have to have that one. That's gorgeous. And then we have another necklace. Ooh, now this one is missing several rhinestones, but it has these beautiful purple teardrop-shaped pieces down here at the bottom. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like the little purple pieces. Yeah, it's missing several rhinestones. We have this little flip clasp in the back with no adjustable chain on it. I really like the purple, though. That's unusual, and it looks good with that darker color around it. It's nice. Okay. And another necklace. This one has three rows of rhinestones to it. These are smaller rhinestones, but you get three rows of them all together. And then they're attached like that. You come back here. It's kind of a weird length. It's not super long, but it's not short either. It's kind of an interesting length. This necklace has a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and about three and a half inches of adjustable chain. That is a really interesting length, though. I like it. It's cool. Oh, here's another pretty necklace. This one has, like, leaves and a little bow down here at the bottom, like a little bouquet down here in the focal point, the center, and these little oval rhinestones going up this way with these large links. And the back looks like that. It's very shiny, very, very chrome-like. 
back here we have this interesting, what is that, a filigree chain? I used to know the different names of chains, but I can't remember them anymore. I think that's filigree. You don't see it too much anymore. And a small silver lobster claw clasp with only about two inches of adjustable chain. There's a tab on here. It's from I Icing. Icing. It is pretty from I see. All the rhinestones appear to be intact. Down here we have small round rhinestones and then you have the larger sort of oval shape. What a sweet little necklace. It's like a little bouquet of rhinestones. I cannot believe how much is in this bag. This, oh goodness, this is, it's like rhinestone spaghetti. Look at all this. It's a long, long length of rhinestones. Ooh. Wow. So obviously this used to be attached to something, but it no longer is. This is all just one single length silver chain with rhinestones. Goodness gracious, it is. It's like rhinestone spaghetti. <laughs> This one looks like little flowers attached to each other, and they have these beautiful iridescent rhinestones in the flowers, the little petals, and the inside. I love this! And then the leaves even have little tiny rhinestones as well. That is so adorable! Oh my goodness! I do love it. Then you have back here just the, the leaves and a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and only about one inch of adjustable chain. That is so pretty! Look at it! That is so cute! That is the cutest little necklace! I'm not gonna keep it though. I'm not. If, oh honey, if I kept everything in here that I liked, I would have- I wouldn't be selling any of it. I like it. It's very cute, but I'm letting it go. What is... Oh, I have a necklace. Oh, no, I don't. I was going to say I have a necklace like this. I do not have a necklace like this. Oh. This bag has been really difficult. <laughs> I'm struggling with this one because I want to keep a lot of this stuff. This rhinestone looks a little messed up. We have these larger and smaller round rhinestones here. We have this dark metal chain. That is pretty. It's very shiny. So it comes down like this. Ooh. It really does catch the light with all those facets, although it looks like this one has glue on it, like somebody had to glue the rhinestone back in there and the glue got all over the outside. And then we have this uh, small lobster claw clasp. And about, we have about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. That is very pretty. Yeah, it looks like this one, same thing. It looks like there's a little bit of glue on the outside, like the rhinestone popped out. And somebody tried to glue it back in, which is very tricky. It's very hard to do. It's very easy to overdo it with the adhesive. <laughs> but it's so pretty though. Gosh. And we have one last, one last piece in our little bag. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all back in there. These have pretty little flowers with enamel, sort of a pearly looking enamel, with little tiny rhinestones going around the flowers. The back side is also very pretty. It's silver. There's no clasp, but you could very easily add a clasp. And if it was too long, you could just take some links out of it. There's one little ring here and here. That's cute. That's adorable. Wow. It's very pretty. That would make a pretty little necklace. Or, I'm sorry, a bracelet 
or an anklet even. You can make an anklet out of that. You just have to add a clasp of some sort to it and you're all set. You could adjust the length very easily if you needed to remove a, a link or two. You could do that with no problem. So that is everything in this bag today. Wow! We had some nice pieces in here. Very beautiful necklaces. I really do like that one. Such pretty stuff. Man! Oh, I love this. I love this bracelet. Look at that. Golly. Oh yeah, it would be very easy to keep, just keep everything, but... No, I, I don't. I don't need all this stuff. I have... I have plenty of jewelry already. I really don't need to be adding to it at this point. Sometimes you have to just say no. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all these fun things today. And this is the only piece I'm going to keep from here because this is just... This is just stunning. I have to have this. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again really soon.